What is going on guys, Joe here with RedmanPie.com back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 9 on your iPhone 6s and also the iPhone 6s Plus. So if you picked up one of the new iPhones, you are now able to jailbreak it using the latest jailbreak tool from the Pangu team. But not only that, if you, basically if you have any device that can run iOS 9, you are now able to jailbreak because this jailbreak tool supports iOS 9.0, 9.0.1 and also 9.0.2. So if you're running any of those firmwares, you are good to go. You'll be able to jailbreak. Now it's very simple to do. All you gotta do is navigate over to the website that I'll leave down below in the description, which is gonna be the Pangoose website. And from there, all you gotta do is click on the download link. Now this is currently available on Windows only, but if you are running a Mac, you can also use a virtual machine, which is actually what I am doing. So if you know how to run a virtual machine, Go ahead and run Windows and uh, you'll be able to take advantage of this jailbreak tool. Now hopefully soon there's going to be a Mac version, but for now, like I said, there's only a Windows version. Once you go ahead and download that, you'll be good to go. Now another thing that I would highly suggest is to back up your device in iTunes. So all you got to do is plug in your device and open up iTunes and hit backup now either to your computer or back it up using iCloud. Of course, backing it up to your computer would be the fastest and easiest way. Another thing is if you did update your device from 9.0 to 9.0.1 or 9.0.2 using the over the air method, I will highly suggest to go ahead and restore using iTunes. That way you have a fresh install and that way you will avoid any type of errors or issues. So once you have your device backed up to iTunes, we're ready to begin. So once you have your device backed up to iTunes, go ahead and open up the Pangu jailbreak tool. Now I'm going to be running as an administrator, so I will avoid any type of issues or anything like that. Now once you have that open, go ahead and plug in your device to your computer and make sure it detects it, of course. Here I'm going to be jailbreaking my iPhone 6S and it is running 9.0.2. Now before we do start the jailbreak process, head over to your device and go into your settings and be sure to disable Touch ID and passcode. So I have that disabled already. Make sure you turn off passcode and Touch ID. After that, go ahead and make sure Find My iPhone is disabled. Now if you are signed into iCloud, it will be there, but I am actually signed out. So of course, Find My iPhone is not gonna be here, uh, but Go ahead and sign out of iCloud or just disable Find My iPhone. I found it easier to just sign out of iCloud. And after that, there's one last step, and that is to go ahead and set your device into airplane mode. So go ahead and turn on airplane mode here, and then we are ready to go. So we can go ahead and hit start on our computer. Now this screen is gonna let us know to go ahead and back up your device to iTunes and all that, put in an airplane mode. So we already did that. So you'll just go ahead and hit already backed up and then the jailbreak will begin. So it's going to take a couple minutes to go ahead and process. So just sit back and let it do its thing. So your device will reboot, which is a good sign. And then you will notice that it says to please unlock the device and enable airplane mode again. So go ahead and uh, unlock your device and be sure to enable airplane mode once again, and then uh, it'll go ahead and keep doing the jailbreak process. So once it hits 75%, it says to please unlock the device and run the Pangu app. So you'll scroll over to the right until you find the Pangu application, and you will notice that there's the WWDC app as well, which is pretty odd, but uh, go ahead and open up the Pangu application here. And then it's gonna to say to please follow the displayed instructions and allow it to access photos, which is also another thing that's different here. So we'll go ahead and accept that and hit okay. And then again, let it do its thing. It's gonna go ahead and upload the jailbreak resources um, and take a couple more minutes or seconds depending, but go ahead and wait and uh, let it do its thing. Now your device will reboot and then Pangu will actually now say it's already jailbroken. So now that's a even better sign that it says that it's already jailbroken. Now once it hits the lock screen, we'll be able to go ahead and proceed with the next steps. So now it has rebooted. Now we'll go ahead and unlock it and be sure to disable airplane mode because it will be enabled. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. And now we scroll over to the right and now we see Cydia down here. So 
All you got to do is, of course, tap on Cydia. It's going to go ahead and prepare the file system. And this may take a couple of minutes, depending. And uh, once it goes ahead and prepares that file system, we'll be good to go. All right, so it's gone ahead and prepared their file system. And we can go ahead and unlock it after it reboots. Head on over to Cydia again by sliding over a couple pages. And then now you will see the Welcome to Cydia screen. But it's as easy as that to jailbreak iOS 9. Now in the comment section below, let us know if you're excited for the iOS 9 jailbreak and also what tweaks have you installed already. But do let us know if you did enjoy this video by hitting that like button as it not only lets us know that you liked it, but it does support the channel very much. Also, if you're not yet following us on social media, be sure to follow us. All the links are down below. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe. That way you'll be notified every time we come out with a new video. And if you have any questions or have any issues, go ahead and check out our links down below in the description as we'll have a how-to guide and all that good stuff. So yeah, check that out. But other than that, thanks a lot for watching and uh, we'll catch you all on the next one.